All right, guys, welcome. So today I'm going to finally, I know it's been a, it's been a long time coming, uh, but I'm going to finally jump in and check out Valheim. Uh, a lot of people lately been asking me, you know, to check this game out, give it a chance, see what it's all about. I didn't play this game at all when it first came out. I've literally seen a few minutes of gameplay uh, over on a friend of mine's channel, uh, Cryptic Fox. I watched him play it just very, very little. Did not know what the hell was going on. And uh, that's about the extent of my knowledge. I actually don't know anything about this game other than it's a survival game in some aspect. Um, and that it's open world. And that's about it. So um, we're going to jump in. We're going to check this out. Uh, remember, if you guys want this to be a full series on the channel, a hey, subscribe and uh, smash that like button. And we'll definitely keep it going. Uh, I don't know how long this game is. If there's an ending to this game. Uh, I have no clue, but we will find out. So again, thank you guys so much. And uh, let's not waste any time. I already got the settings, I think, set. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and start game. So the only thing I've seen people say about this game in chat so far is it's an amazing game. The only thing is that I guess the graphics can be a little leave a little bit to be desired i guess but for me personally graphics aren't everything um some of my favorite games have been what the hell uh some of my favorite why is my guy just spinning there <laughs> he's just spinning away chat all right well I don't know if my mouse is tweaking. Here, let me uh actually close the game real quick and restart it. My mouse started tweaking out, I think. We're off to a great start, guys. We're off to a great start. My man was just spinning. Non-stop. Music's too loud. And it was, you know what's crazy is before I started streaming, I actually put the music down to like half. So I'll, I'll lower it a bit more. Okay, let's see. Is my is my guy gonna not be spinning this time? Yeah. Okay, we're not spinning this time, guys. We're not spinning. All right, we're good. All right. Uh, let's go ahead. Choose our hair. Uh, yeah, I might not go with like. Cool, like Vikingy braided hair. Yeah, I think I like that. I uh, definitely need a beard. Yeah, there we go. Um. Blondness. There we go. Our name is gonna be, uh, of course. Brian. Okay, so we're starting off with some pretty good looking gear there. All right, let's start. Um, world name one. M minimum of five characters. Okay. Uh, world modifies. Was there anything I should do, guys, to make the game like um, resource rates or anything like like kind of like an arc? You know how you like you guys say if you're playing single player to uh, to like edit some of the 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 rates or anything, or should I just leave everything normal and we'll be fine? So everything looks good. Everything's at normal, so. Okay, cool, cool. So then we're good. All right. Um. Whoops. Assault, how you doing?
Alright, I know it's a solid black screen for you, but it's loading, chat. It's loading the world. Now, this world, it said, it, it's, because I got a seed, so does that mean it's, like, procedurally generated, like a, like a Minecraft? Cast them into the tenth world, then split bows, uh, which held a prison, to the world tree, and left it to drift. Exile for centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of sight. Gods, and when Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to score the battlefields for the greatest of their warriors dead to the world. They would be born again in Valheim. Is that a Valkyrie? Hugin, uh, sent here to guide you in your travels. Uh, the megaliths surrounding you are sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. Okay. These magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin as a signpost pointing towards the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. Um, if inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of the, yep, uh, your first prey. He is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before attempting to, him to or attempting to defeat him. Okay, so that's cool. Okay, so he's, like, right there. Um... Okay, so I, I I don't think we're gonna go fight the boss like this. Most items can be crafted, however, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you will have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up, and it will all come back to you. I'm sure. Uh, my lesser brother Munant tells me one can own. Th okay, simple enough. So it seems like you can only pick up the... Can I punch the tree? Oh, I'm punching the shit out this tree, though. Okay, so it's, we got some wood. We got to find stone, though. The stone is going to be the harder of the two. Okay, around, it seems like around big rocks, you can find small rocks. Yeah, it doesn't sound friendly. What the fuck is that? Reeling? Yo, can you block? Oh, you ran off. Okay, good. So we got him with the little, little two-piece. You didn't want the smoke. Okay, 
Okay, those are just deer. Okay, so you can actually pick wood up from the branches. Let me see about crafting now. So I did find some berries over here that we could eat. I seen more. Oh, there we go. So I'll make sure we're grabbing berries. It's obviously um, there's going to be some kind of survival aspect to the game. So food, water, shelter. We still need to figure out. Raiden, thank you, thank you for the gifted man. I appreciate you, brother. All right, let's get this uh, item crafted. So, crafting, I can do a stone axe, a club, or a hammer. Um, we'll start off with the stone axe. Okay. And then for the club, uh, we just need more wood. But now that we have this axe, it should be a little bit easier to get wood, right? different world using the freaking axe. Uh, food in this game isn't a function of survival, but rather a function of buffs and health. Okay, okay, so it's, I don't have to, like, eat and drink to stay alive type of deal. Trying to get some base resources here. Okay, so items in what, uh, that you craft do have a durability. So let me check the stats on these. Club is 12 blunt. Axe is 15 slash. Fuck. I mean, all around the stone axe is a, ouch, a better weapon. Times two. And the only difference is, is it, it's a blunt weapon versus a slashing weapon. Um. So I'll hold off. On, let me talk to the bird real quick. See if he has any other. Uh, you have found a snack. Consume it to improve your health. Seven health, twenty stam. Uh, but be aware. That before long, you will grow hungry again. So try to always uh, have at least a couple different meals ready. Oh, so my health is like really low right now. You mean I can't eat more raspberries? They're right here in my freaking... I only got about half health. Food is time based. Got you. Hey, bird, where'd you go? So, right now, crafting wise, that, that's all I got access to. I guess we gotta go exploring a little bit. Maybe try to find. Uh, Or do I just go fight that dude with this axe? I don't feel like that's smart. Maybe 
this is easy as this dude. Game does have a really nice atmosphere, though. right there. <laughs> Stick it in, uh, yeah, so I could use that for torch. A uh, hammer. So we gotta build this hammer, I'm sure. That's used for building. Uh, I can now do a campfire. And just for the sake of it, we'll craft club too. Okay, so now the bird's back. Yeah, he wanted me to craft a hammer. Uh, with this tool, you will raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. Um, this in turn will enable you to construct other things. All right, good stuff. So let me go find a good location for our first base. Obviously, this is probably going to be quite temporary, but... There's a stone here. Hear these words, oh, a poor settler in a strange land you will find here good stone and wood. All you will need to build a house, uh, you will cra need to craft a roof to keep out the rain, and you will need walls to stop the roof from falling down. Finally, you must have a door, um, or it will be much harder to go in and out. <clears throat> okay. You see enough? Lots of stone around here, yeah. Good, good resources in this area. Walk up that cliffside. He's like, bro, that shit is too steep. Stop it. Stop it. I'm just kind of looking for like a little bit of a clearing. The thing is, if I can't walk up that, um, maybe the enemies can't either. There's not a lot of space here to build, really. So we can find a clearing down this way, maybe. I don't want to build right on the runestone. I feel like that'd be lame building like right here. It is nice and clear, but... Oh, here we go. What's this? George, but a thank you, thank you, man, for the super chat. The true legend, uh, YouTube Brian, but maybe we'll be thinking about you, man. 
Now, Assault Viper is definitely... He, he, he's amazing. And I know he hasn't been doing well lately. I know he's sick. Uh, you know, it's, I, I, and my thing is I appreciate all the time that I do get to spend with him. So we got some kind of marking up. Oh, this is that enemy. Assault Viper is a true legend. You too, Brian Cold Sweat Smile, but AV, we'll be thinking about you, man. Always the best, super cool dude. chest okay so the chest had feathers let's take all and what is this amber So my question is, how big is the damn map? But again, George, thank you so much, brother, for the huge super chat, man. That's absolutely insane. So I got a question. Can you make a clearing? Like, if I were to chop down trees, do the trees grow back? Will path ahead is hard, dangerous. Um, horned ones, the creatures will send against what? Hit M and scroll out, and you get a sense of the scale. Oh. Dandelions. Got another structure up here. clearing here beautiful okay we're good i'll probably build like right in this area for right now got trees all around us all right good stuff let's do it Okay, so I can't really build anything base-wise yet. Can get this going. Okay. And then... Cooking station. We'll do a campfire. Got to start somewhere, right? Fence, walls... A little cooking station here. Yeah. 
Okay, so cookable items, I'll take it, are going to be, like, meat and stuff like that from, like, deer. Workbench allows you to craft complex items as well as giving you access to lots more building pieces to construct with the hammer. I think crafting station needs a roof. Oh, okay, here we go. So now I can build for real. So it seems like floors are it in this game. There's no, like, need for foundations. I, uh, can I move something that I put down? Gotta just, yeah, it's, oh, you do get the resources back? Okay, okay, I hear something. And the music got a little weird. Okay, so we're going to start by building a little bit of a base here. Oh, we got to go chop wood, though. Now, can you pass time, like go to sleep? to move that because I want to build right here like the actual base itself okay so we got a bed here go down maybe like a little temporary bed oh the bed needs a roof shit man Okay, so I kind of want to lift this up off the ground, right? So could I do like these little half walls and then put flooring on top of the half wall? You know what I mean? Because the floor itself like sits really, really flat on the ground. So we'll, we'll do it like this then. And the half walls are as small as they get, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wonder if that's going to be too high, though. Whatever, it should be good. Wish I had a, like a more uh, like a flatter area.
Okay, we're gonna chop wood. It says I'm cold, but I don't think it's gonna... of resin so when you chop down the tree like you chopped down like the whole tree it was just a big ass thing Like I said, we're just making a small little outpost of a base right now. Just something that we could use. Um, get a bed down so we can sleep. Uh, John, thank you, thank you for the two months too, man. I appreciate you, brother. You can also just use post. Oh, like put post down and then put the floor on top of the posts. Like these right here. Probably be cheaper, honestly. If I want to rotate this, yep, perfect. I had it for a second there. Really? I just changed it. Boom. Okay, so that's done. We've got a little, small little, little, little thing. Do stairs, like so. Alright, and then we'll swap over to flooring. So hard to see.
So am I still gonna have to do the posts in the middle, guys? Uh, so it seems like no matter what, the flooring has to sit on something. You can't, like, snap it to the edges, it seems. So I think I still have to put something down there. It was able to lay on the walls here, the wall edges, but yeah, it seemed like I couldn't uh, just like snap the floors to each other. Take this little post. Throw that there. We'll switch over to this. And voila. Hey. Now that this is built, though, it definitely feels a lot small. <laughs> it's so much smaller than I wanted it to be. But I, it, like I said, it'll, it'll get the job done for right now. It'll get the job done. All right, so we gotta get some walls going. Cut some more wood. Doug, it's good to see you, brother. How you doing, man? Yeah, the, yeah, the, the, for some reason, the, I was trying to use the torch, but then when you have the hammer out, for some reason, it puts the torch away. Brother, thank you for the super chat, man. How you doing today? Oh, Doug, and what, what are you referring to, uh, getting figured out? Morning, my friend. Did you get things figured out? So when something breaks, how do you repair it? Do I need to do it at the workbench? Maybe? Oh. Oh, but the workbench needs a freaking roof. Yeah, the, the repair bench needs a roof, so I'm just going to have to build another one for right now. Like they're all that expensive. Oh, my setup for streaming. Yeah, yeah, we got it. We got it going good, uh, Doug. We got it going good. I ended up going over to a shit, a multi PC setup, and uh, yeah, it worked out quite nice. Uh, is Halo 3 on the future? So the thing with Halo is um, I enjoyed it quite a bit, but every single time we played a Halo game on the channel, it, it doesn't do very well. Uh, at first, I thought it was just the first one because it was so old. Um, You're set up for streaming. Hope you got it fixed good instead of temp. No, but yeah, it's good now, Doug. It's definitely good, brother. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was the first game because it was so old and dated and didn't really have a great story and, you know, that people weren't all that interested. So I was like, well, you know, Halo 2 is Long time. Weird. Nice to be back. Like coming home. Kenneth, Enjoy. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate that, man. Um, but yeah, I, I was like, well, Halo 2 is revered to be like one of the greatest Halo games of all time. So many people love it. So uh, if any Halo game is going to do well, it will be this one. And then we played Halo 2 and it was almost pretty much the same as Halo 1. 
Um, so there's not a whole lot of interest in Halo. So no, it's not like a top priority for me to play anytime soon. That one's too hard. Uh, anonymous uh, most of my audience is older man like i think like less than 10 percent of my audience is even uh around ages of 18. Uh, most of my audience is my age or older so it's just people aren't all that interested in it yeah i, I, I had this conversation on discord earlier like it's not an issue of attracting new viewers it's an issue of entertaining my current viewers uh so that's that's where the disparity comes from. Um, most of my audience is older, and they still don't want to watch it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so it's not like it's a younger audience that's like, oh, I don't want to watch this old ass game. No, I, my, most of my audience is older people, and they don't want to watch the game. Ah, oh, Doug, thank you so much. And Raiden, thank you so much. Guys, thank you for the super chats, man. Um, if you press Z, it toggles auto-collect. Okay. Hell yeah. And Doug, yeah, man, it's definitely going good, brother. Definitely going good. And then you just walk over it. So how much wood are we at right now? Uh, a lot. We got almost 80. We got about 85 wood. So that should be enough to, to get the base up. Now I'm going to do my base too high. So I don't want to feel like I'm like in a super tiny like. Awesome to hear. Seems you stream when I am working now. Just don't want to snap on top of the door, man. Wonder if I have to do it from outside. Uh, Larynus, thank you, thank you for the super chat, and we wicked, uh, everything I watch you play, I end up wanting to pull out a library or buy. <laughs> Whoop, there we go, got it. Boom. Okay, so now that's done. Now we just gotta get a roof, and, uh, we should be good. Uh, 
I'm not really good at like these triangle roofs, guys. Everything I watch you play, I end up wanting to pull out the library or buy. So I wonder if we do like that piece and then just something about Brian that draws you into watching his streams. Like if you agree. Doug, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you, brother. So we do like that and then maybe this after the fact. Oh, yeah. So that's like a peak. Okay, and then on the other side, drop it back down. Gotta rotate it. Now we got that. But Doug, thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, I, I, I didn't, I didn't build windows because I didn't know how. <laughs> but now we got to figure out how to fill in this gap. Guys, you guys know my base building is not, um, Look at that. Uh, my base building is pretty much amazing. Is what I meant to say. Uh, it's actually one of the things I'm known for. I'm one of the one of the best base builders to, to ever to ever exist. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. You know, and sometimes chat can doubt me. Um, damn it. I get it, you know. I know you guys have seen my previous base builds just out of this world stuff. I, I honestly, I was going to stop doing gameplay like videos and I was going to move in. I was, I was thinking about moving into like the base building space and that's all I would do on YouTube is just put out guides on like really good base builds. Um, Cause I really think it's my calling. Like, look at that, chat. Look at that. That's got a real roof. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I'm on fire. Okay. Now let's get the base set up. It's a little tight, we got a chance. It's a little tight. Okay. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, we'll keep that there. And we'll go furniture, get our bed. Boom. Get some storage going, you know what I mean? Missing some wood.
these two trees both can get cut down. So do the trees fall down away from you? Or whatever way they fucking decide they want to fall down. Let me see if I can repair now that I got that in the side. Oh, so you can upgrade. So where do I re just repair? Okay, so you just push the repair button and just repair shit. Gotcha. Reason! Thank you for the super chat, man. Looks like you're living in the Unibobber. Huh? What do you mean I'm living in the Unabomber hut? That is a beautiful place right here. Bro, it looks like you're living in the Unabomber's hut. Please look it up. Brian Menard, the king of base building and horror games. And animal rights. And driving. Don't forget driving. I don't know how I feel about moving this fire inside, especially because I could like step on it. Maybe if I put it in this corner all nice, nice, we'll be okay. Uh, we gotta actually go out and get some stone though. Spot right now guys we got our base good we're gonna be able to start progressing here shortly i don't know what we need exactly to fight that damn boss like this bird's like yo talk to me and i'm like wait dude one thing at a time one thing at a time bird Could make for good eating, chat. So let's go ahead. Also, can you not place this inside? I don't think you can place a campfire inside. Spawn point set. Oh, you can't place it on wood floor. The dreams are haunting you with your companions.
So let me start storing some stuff. Uh, is there a way to, like... Control click. Okay, uh, it's like, is there a way to like fast move shit? Okay, so we could do a hoe uh, for working the earth. Talk to the bird. Uh, when temperature drops at night or if you are wet, you will suffer from being cold. This reduces your stamina regen, seeking shelter. Okay. Stored my shirt. Or my clothes. That's what this was. So it says here about upgrading the station so I can upgrade my axe. Uh, what arrows? I, I mean, listen, guys, I under it's a little, it is a little, uh, a little narrow. I, I definitely thought for sure that I would be able to uh, fit a little more. I should have went, you know, maybe two more wide, but it, it, it's doing the job. It's doing, <laughs> it's doing the job. All right, let's see here. Um, crafting. So we got the food, buildings, furniture. Uh, these torches actually outside. Oh, what if I could do a standing torch inside? Yeah, so I need resin and wood. This will help us out, get us a little bit of light in here. Uh, where do I want to put it? I'll do it right here. Beautiful. So... How do I upgrade my workbench then? Okay, see how you can repair stuff with the hammer. Building menu for upgrades? Repair, repair, repair. Also do this cooking station here too. Oh, let me go out and try to get some, um, kill this boar. him all over the damn place so we just learned crude bow oh wow yeah we just got a ton of new stuff by killing that boar all right let's go out and do a little more hunting let's see if we can get some more leather this deer down here
Gotcha, bitch. Oh. We've got some hide. structure here oh do i gotta place the cooking rack over the fire oh okay that makes sense definitely want to try to craft that bow and arrow too that would be sick Stamina. Want the honey? Oh, at the beehive? Oh, shit, am I gonna get attacked by a swarm of bees? That just doesn't sound like a good idea. on me. I need like a bow and arrow or something, Chet, to like get that down. I could build up to it too, probably. like to find some more of the boar because that's what gave me the resources for uh the bow and arrow so what the hell is that thing there's a big structure over here i wanted to check too So these these structures actually can be broken. And expanded upon, I'll take it. Cuz if that's the case, man, you can uh find it. And is there any like really big ex like structures that already exist? Cuz I'm like, yeah, we can make some uh We could probably make like find that and then use that as a good like starting point for a base or are they all pretty pretty small oh i need a freaking workbench chest okay so i had some gold um and arrows
Oh, look at this. There's a uh, stairs, like a little treehouse or something here. Or watchtower. And, uh... Oh, we got another boar. Two boars. Awesome. Three boar. that down got some of that cooking up So I got some leather scraps. Let's see what it takes to make a bow and arrow. So the crude bow, we need eight leather scraps. So we gotta go. We have to get some more board. Now I got regular um, animal hide. Off of a deer, but I don't think you can use that for anything, can we? This way here. We can't turn this into leather. Keep this all on us. We gotta go out and uh, get some resources. So we're just going to be farming pretty much, pretty much any boar that we can find. And look for new resources that we haven't seen before. I do it. Hitting. I don't know why I feel like I'm hitting harder. <clears throat> Even though my weapon hasn't been upgraded.
Flint axe, flint knife. Okay, so is that the next tanning rack and a chopping block? F uh. Glue donated ten dollars. Consider putting the map pin on your base so you don't lose track of it. Also, there's building integrity. <laughs> F crew, thank you so much for the, the donation. What do you mean by building integrity? Like, um, if something's not supported, it'll fall down type of shit? need a bunch of this flint. Okay, I got what you're saying. Still got quite a bit of inventory. Carry uh, capacity left. Is there any underwater exploration? Or water exploration, period? It's a lot of water, man. Oh, they're sailing. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, we are like a Viking, aren't we? Yeah, I think I remember Cryptic having a boat. Did anybody else hear that? Or is it just me? No, it was just me. <laughs> George, no, nah, I just lit. I, it was my headphones. So they just like died or something, and it was just like. It was just making that noise non-stop and I couldn't hear anything else but then nothing was changing in game and I looked at my little headphone thing and it was all jacked up Trying to get our hands on a good bit of flint here. It's getting dark, so it's gonna start getting cold. So we'll start heading back. And we got. Oh, we only got 19 flint. I don't know why. I feel like I got so much more than that. Yeah, so uh, put down a map marker before I lose my base. I gotta figure out how to do it. I'll, I'll figure that out once we get back to base. Oh.
see. Now we got the we got the lighting in here. We actually need to get another chest built. So yeah, we got this chopping block uh, workbench improvement. Oh, does it have to be like right near it, or can I like build it outside, and it'll it'll still count? Just has to be near it. Okay, cool. So that that should work then. Do got to get a tanning rack done, but we need five deer hide. Wow, and fifteen flint <laughs> trolling. actually throw down another standing torch just to get it lit up a little bit more in here. This is still quite dark. There we go. Much better. Oh, uh, you can put a one by one floor over the chest. Oh, and stack them on top of each other. This chest is backwards, and it's probably going to bother me eventually. But uh, let me see. We upgraded our bed. Oh, man. Look at all this stuff we can do. We can do leather helmets now, wooden shield, tower shield, a spear. My, my resource numbers are absolute trash. I thought I thought I had a lot of stuff. Um, so we'll start with some basic upgrades. Uh, start switching out our tools from stone to flint. We need more wood. Yeah, I gotta get the bow, but we need more, uh, we gotta get more boar. I'm short one piece of, uh, leather scrap. Falling trees hurt. Oh, so they can they can hurt me bad. He <laughs> killed by a damn tree.
George, take oh, let's roll it away. Stop it. Really, physics? That yo, that rolling log hurt me, seriously. We're not playing. George, thank you for the gifted brother. My health is up to 87 now though. Upgrade said the more a stamina you have, the more damage. Can't wait to get some real weapons, you know? Because right now we're fighting with. I, mean, I guess an axe is a weapon, but I don't know. I could, I still consider it more of a tool than a weapon. We got a decent bit of wood. Let's go around and see if we can find uh, another boar, and then we'll be able to start working on upgrading our tools. I'm gonna go uh, repair everything, and then we're gonna head out. Oh, uh, you know, what? let me drop this wood really quick because I'm. My uh, carrying capacity is getting quite full. So what kind of gear can you end up with in this game? Is it because, you know, obviously we're starting off basic stone tools like do the weapons get pretty nice? Dropped a marker for my uh, my base right there. Is there a parry in this game? Like, uh, like if you time like blocking when uh, the enemy attacks you, can you parry him? Waterline here, hoping for some flint. I'm not finding any. That's a lot of those dudes. Hey, 
Okay, so this is the end of the stream here. Ah, oh, there's a boar. Thank you, brother. So we got the leather scraps. So we have exactly enough to make, um... The whatchamacallit? The bow and arrow. I'm hoping that the tanning hide, or the tanning station, will allow us to do more... Turn, like, the deer skin into leather, because... It's a little grindy trying to farm it from boars alone. So I'm hoping that the bow and arrow will make hunting deer a bit easier. We'll walk this water edge here for flint. What's that? Oh, flint only comes from boar? Really? Or the, the scraps only come from boar? I guess it wouldn't be that bad if I could find more, like, consistently. Shit, why didn't I have my axe out? And some leather scraps. We're get, we're going we're getting there, guys. And the cool thing is because you only need them to craft, and then we repairing is free. It's not like I have to keep farming up more leather to to keep repairing the gear because that would definitely be a lot harder to upkeep. Michael, thank you, thank you for the super chat, brother. Hold on a sec. And also, Handy Brother, sorry I missed that, man, with the 10 gifted, dude. Holy shit. And that was a while ago. Sorry I missed that, brother. Thank you so much out here showing love to the community, man. I got, I got lost in the game, bro. Seriously, man, thank you, thank you. The deer punch. Oh, here we go. <laughs> But Michael, thank you for the super chat, man. Um, boar and deer locks enemies come uh, one star, two star, three. Star. Higher stars give more loot. Got you. Uh. 
Let me go get that bow and arrow crafted up real quick. That way we can start working on uh, hunting out, the, hunting down the deer. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna shoot them with the bow and they're gonna run away and then I'm never gonna catch them. Feel that frustration. Thirteen there. All our wood. Got all our flint. Okay, so we can plant these to grow seeds. I still don't know what the dandelions are for. So we're going to craft a crude bow. And I'm thinking maybe a flint spear. This will be our first legitimate weapon. I feel like it'll be a bit of an upgrade from the uh, the axe, you know what I mean? These chests don't really hold much. Bambi up here somewhere. Now, is there like bonus uh, damage from shooting from crouched? My meat is burnt. Oh shit, I forgot to put that on there. No meat, don't burn. That shit's probably so toasty. Yeah, it turned into coal. <laughs> hey, but we got a new resource. That was all part of my plan, chat. I was like, you know what? Let me, uh,. Let me let this burn so I can acquire a new resource. Oh, you see that roll? Did you see that damage?
This dude's got like no range though. I'm not gonna lie guys, that like crouched roll is like pretty clutch. I wish you could roll standing up like that. Yeah, it has some real drop for real. Stabs with the spear. Like, like, why, why, why is he stabbing like that, Jet? Come on. <laughs> Mr. Super Chat. Oh, George, thank you, thank you, Brian and Chet. Oh, what's the most unique survival game? Oh, man. I mean, it all depends on what you're... I guess what you're looking for, because, I mean, there's quite a few of them out there, like, that are unique. It's like, like, probably one of the most unique ones to date, I would probably have to say, is, like, Zomboid. Oh, Mike. Sorry, guys. I, I don't. It, it's so hard because the damn. Uh, for some reason, my Streamlabs isn't notifying me. Oh, uh, you need a heap of flint. Uh, and it's only. For, oh, you said that earlier. Beehives are legit for food and queen bee for future hives. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, brother. Yeah, I don't know why uh, Streamlabs has been acting up so bad lately. I just want to get this last kill on this deer here. There it is. Quite dark. We'll head back. Can barely see. Brayden, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Um, roll by holding block and... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. So the bow definitely makes getting deer a lot easier. Uh, you can turn off the blurry distance. Why does it look bad? It's a nice effect. I don't. I don't necessarily hate it. So we get, we're up to what 
five pelts, I believe. Yep, we got five pelts in total. Read bottom right what you can. What do you mean, Lord? Nothing in the bottom right. What what is the setting called? I don't know. I don't even know what it looks like without it on. Um This depth of field. Oh yeah, look at that. The hell is that? Oh, is that the world tree? Yeah, in the bottom right of the screen, there's nothing there. I mean... No, nothing there. I see what you're saying like with a weapon uh it says like oh yeah space and mouse two to dodge mouse three secondary attack oh no give me that back oh so you could throw this spear i'm okay i'm tracking i'm tracking what you're saying now picking up what you're putting down Head up this way. See if we can find any more deer. Yeah, as for what I need to build now, uh, we need a, a lot of flint tools. Which I got a, I got a good bit of flint, we just need leather. I want to see how much damage throwing the spear does. It's generally really strong in most games. Pretty strong. Queen bee, we got a honey, we can now build a beehive. Big ass looking deer. What is it stuck on a rock? Oh, it is a rock. It is a rock. You found a summoning place of one. Of <laughs> Hunt his kin. So 
So do I hunt a bunch of deer and place them on the altar to summon the deer guy? Oh, this is the boss I was looking for anyways. Okay. We're going to hunt his kin. Michael, uh, go to map. You zoom out. Yeah, I checked it right in the beginning of the uh, when we first started, uh, and I was like, "Damn it, it's it's quite huge." Because like it, it doesn't really put it into scale, but like this area right here is actually relatively big. So to think like I couldn't even imagine how big like all that is. It's quite ridiculous. As many deer as one would like. You'll know them when you see them. Eight arrows left. And I'm gonna save those for deer. Over here, wasting them on the boar. It's okay. Heard a new sound that I have not heard before. It's like a turn back. This place is a dangerous place. You wandered into the black fort. In the in and uh. Oh, fuck.
pretty sure that's a deer call, right? So we gotta we gotta stay away from uh, this area down this way. It's the the black forest. And there was like skeleton archers. From what I see, they were shooting at me. this way. I swear I heard a deer over this way. Yep, right there. A couple of them. Deer trophy. So I wonder if I put those deer heads down on that. that shit. I think I needed eight of them.
You would think the because the spear you know, it actually has worse reach than the uh, the axe because of how he how he uses it. I'm up to 14 deer hide and 10 more of the boar leather scraps. I'm not pushing back into the black forest again. So I think I am. I think I'm headed right back down towards that black forest. Brianna, how you doing? By chance, have I tested out Maneater? Yeah, yeah, we short bus. We uh, played that on my. What was it? What stream was it, guys? The 100k stream? Played man eater. So we got we got a bunch of resources. We're gonna go back to base. We'll see what we can actually do with everything. Uh, I want to get a wood like a shield made up, um, and maybe some leather armor, some proper armor. I don't know how tough this first boss is gonna be. You know what I mean? But
Uh, try to flint knife since you like daggers. Um, they have a sneak damage. How, how good? Because I asked on Discord earlier um, about if the game had stealth or not. Um, and people said not really. Like, not really that kind of game. So I didn't really rely on trying it, but... Are you guys saying that stealth is actually possible? I should get some more chest built. Let me try this little thing that you guys were telling me. Got a lot of food, uh, a lot of deer. Here right now, consolidate all of our crafting resources. I actually got a lot of food. in there, crafting resources in here.
Okay, so that's all we're working with right now. I got my random resources in here. Food down here. And then all of our crafting stuff up here. And it's like when you're looking at it, it doesn't feel like a lot, guys. Like, I went out and I did all that hunting, right? Now, I gotta say, I do feel like I have a lot of meat. We definitely got a good bit of food for food buffs. But when it comes to, like... When it comes to the actual, like, resources, I don't feel like I have shite. Look how expensive that is. Six deer hide. So the, the tower shield seems better, but it has more of a movement speed penalty, right? that upgrade. That needs to happen. Okay. Now, we already got a bow. Uh, wooden... So we could do wood arrows... Because I definitely need arrows, but do they have stone arrows? No, it's just wood arrows or flint. Here's is 22 compared to 27. So they don't do as much damage, but they're definitely a lot more affordable. lot more affordable. Yeah, the flint arrows seem really, really good, but they're very expensive in comparison to the, the wood arrows. So I could just spam these out. And I think for like real good big fights, I'll probably end up trying to make some flint, but. Okay, now. I got exactly enough to make a full set of leather armor. So it comes down to, should I do the leather armor first? Or... Build this um, tanning rack. Which I can't do because I need 20 leather scrap. Wait on the armor. Could make rag pants though. You're talking five leather scraps. I remember meeting him. I don't remember. And Sarah was like, how did he get put article? Like, and we had no idea. Like, 
I completely yeah. forgot all about that. Yeah. How is it? I, I had a quote. I guess you had a quote. Right? A Fogel famous for he's. This is so you. I didn't even read the rest. Fogel famous for 145 pounds. A legend. Quote: He's a legend and he's on television. Bart said after he and his friends waited in line for an autograph picture with Fogel. It's great all the way he lost. I I could use his pants for one. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> you literally said it. Look, it's literally right there. Guys, so <laughs> listen to this. When uh, when I was a youngin in high school, Jared, the subway guy, came to like the, I completely forgot all about that. He came to a subway opening, uh, literally like around the corner from my high school. So I skipped. I skipped like school to go over to the thing to meet him because it was like a famous dude You know what I mean? I'm like yo this dude's like on commercials and shit So we went to go meet Jared and I guess I got an interview. I don't even remember this, but they put me into the paper thing and uh, Yeah, so this was my quote <laughs> That I gave so the thing says, uh, Brian Menard, 10th grader at my high school, missed his lunch period Wednesday so he could meet Jared Fogle at Subway Restaurant on on a street. Uh, Fogle, famous for losing 245 pounds by eating only Subway sandwiches twice a day, uh, led the celebration for the grand opening of a newly remodeled restaurant. Um, and this is the quote. He's a legend and he's on television, <laughs> Menard said after he and his friends waited in line for an autographed picture of Fogel. Another quote from me. It's great, all the weight he lost, I could use his pants, <laughs> the one Fogel wore when he was f weighed 435 pounds as a blanket. Hey there. I don't fucking know. Like, why the hell would I? <laughs> That was 10th grader Brian's quote. <laughs> That's what I said in the interview chat. Like, why would I say that, dude? Ridiculous. All right, so I do need a shield. Um, now I'm wondering how bad so is the movement speed penalty a, a, a pretty big deal, chat, when you got the shield? Because if so, we'll just go with this one. I don't know. This one's really good, though. So we'll go with this one then. Uh, so that way I'm not going to be hit with the movement. So I, I like my movement. I don't want to be. I don't want to be held down. Let's go get this crafted. Okay. Now we'll do. We'll do a full set of armor. Okay. <clears throat> and then we'll try out the. Flint knife. Has a parry bonus, too. Okay. So, we got all new stuff. Look at us now, guys. 
boss ready, dude. Oh, the bird wants to talk. Shield allows you to block incoming damage. If your da timing is perfect, the enemy may also be parried. Uh, be careful, though. If you block too many hits, you'll become staggered. The amount of damage you can block before becoming staggered depends on your max health. So if you plan on taking a lot of damage, you should eat food. That increases your health. A heavier shields block more damage, but also slow you down. Those burned. Oh, we, we needed some coal anyways, right? So I'm thinking we're going to go try our first attempt at the boss. Just got to make sure we get our food buffs here. Well, I got a rested bonus because I was just, what, in the base? So I think we're good to go. Right now, we got a decent bit of food. I got to just grab some more berries, because then I got boar, I got deer, and then... Uh, and then berries. So we got our three different food buffs. This isn't the worst decision I've ever made, and I'm not rushing this fight. Listen, I'm not, like, extremely kitted, but, I mean, we're a lot better than when we first started. Oh, there's some berries.
so let's go ahead. Get our buffs going.
Got him. <clears throat> yeah, that, that, that was not what I expected, guys. I, I thought I was going to find fight like a fucking deer chat, like a, like a deer. Not that. Turn sacrifice stone, sacred trophy, offer it as sick to make the gods. What? Oh, is it that stone that we started at? Up here. Lurek, thank, thank you for the super chat, man. I appreciate you, brother. Run slower with stuff out. So are there are these all the different bosses? And you hang their heads up on these hooks? Oh okay. Jump stamina uses minus run stamina uses minus whoa. That's a huge stamina buff. Been granted the power of uh, is it in time of need? Your next target dwells in the black forest. Go there, explore the lands, and uncover their lost treasures. I think the black forest was down this way, right? Hold on one sec, before I push into this, give me one sec, guys.
Uh, but again, Lurk, thank you, thank you for the super chat, man. And um, Mr. Elena, thank you for the membership. Welcome to the family. I appreciate the love, guys. So this Black Forest business, um, I feel like... Okay. Got my ass. I feel like we're a lot better equipped now than we were the first time I went. Um. Okay, so the power lasts for like a certain amount of time. That's awesome. I was scared to use the power because I didn't know if it was like a. You use it, it lasts for like ten, like few seconds and then goes on cooldown. Well, this shit lasts for a while. I want now. Antler pickaxe? I do like that the tools make decent weapons. She almost got my ass chat. You guys ever eat like a little pack of beef jerky and like not really be paying attention and you're just grabbing the beef jerky and then you accidentally grabbed a little fucking this thing and I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't put one in my mouth before. SRS3 said yes. That's my worst fear, actually. <laughs> that almost got me. It didn't taste like anything. It just was hard plastic. and It's not like I chewed it. I just put it in my mouth and it like, poked me in the cheek. I was like, oh, shit. What is this? Pickaxe. So, can you, are you supposed to like farm that boss for the hard antlers? Like, you keep summoning them and then fighting them again for more antlers? You don't need to get more? Okay.
Obviously, it's because I got. I think it's because it's raining outside. Let me see. Build some overhead cover for it. Horse is rich in minerals where you can find copper and brown tin. That's a great dwarf. Is that, that's not the same thing I fought earlier. Is it? Good enough. Oh, does it actually? It actually has to be a uh, a roof. Okay. Seriously. Going through all this to do to build it and and it and then it stops raining. Yeah, I mean, I would like to make, I, I, you know, it's something on the inside, but this is just, you know, a temporary shelter until we can get something better. Actually, I don't have any more pelts left, so I can't do that. So there's a couple things we can upgrade. We can upgrade our shield. And we'll upgrade our spear. And the axe. We'll go all the way. We'll upgrade everything. Forest, here we come.
Yeah, I got arrows. Yeah, we got like, uh, what are we sitting on? 35 arrows right now? I want to thank you guys. We got over 500 likes on the stream already. I really do appreciate it. was the way to the Black Forest. I don't remember exactly which way I was going. Seems right, though. The trees are getting different. Health buffs are huge, man. tankier than I thought it would be. Got some... So we can make a deer hide cape and something else and got some bone there. Delves and dungeons can be found across the 10th world. They are mount... Um, of the past uh, and most often filled with riches of civilizations long lost. Remember to bring a light source. You got a torch. Mark this location. Our dung. It's this little shiny blue thing. Neil, how you doing? Pistol. Uh, maple. Kind of reminds me of the redwoods in Ark. No file is in the tree, right? Should we check out this dungeon now, or do you guys think I'm... Think I'm ready?
no damage. They got me stuck like Chuck, dude. I couldn't even run. Now we're dead, like Fred. You guys saying the club is better for the skellies? We actually need bone fragments to upgrade this club, too. Struck down, you will forget a small part of your abilities and drop your belongings. issue is going to be if the skellies are camping my body. I don't know if they're going to resort, go back to the room they came from. to go back up here. That is how we're going to get 50. It's going up a little bit. I'm trying to face tank that dude right there.
you fight a goat? Come on, dude, really? to smell okay so we just learned some like smithing stuff I didn't check that area back there, so I wanted to make sure there was nothing down that hallway. You know, let me go try to fight that ghost. Can I hit the ghost guys with my, with my weapons? That's the only thing I'm worried about is not being able to hit the damn thing. If it takes damage like everything else. I can't see its attack, so I didn't know what the hell I was parrying right there, but it ended up working out.
Is that a ruby on the ledge? Where? Oh, right there. Oh, there's right. Oh, look at that. I got so focused in on those little core things. I don't have much more of the torch left. Dungeon. Port and sweet. Actually, stack 50 of those yellow mushrooms, guys. I stopped picking them up because I was like, oh, I think my inventory is but they stack up to 50, so. Yeah, we got these uh certain cores. They said it would they were used for um for like furnaces, I think it said. Plus 30 stamina. Not bad, though. We got our first dungeon done. We did die, so I guess it was that bad. But I got stuck. Like, real stuck. Couldn't get out. They had me trapped in that little ass hallway.
That's useful. Hit this and it takes everything out your inventory that is in that chest. I like that. This this little uh, beautiful prickly. So throw that in there. Some more flint arrows. Skeleton trophies can make. Oh, so some of the trophies actually make stuff? So I, I know right now trophies are used for boss summons. I didn't know if they were for crafting or anything like that because I haven't seen any crafting stuff. But I do want to check those new... Here we go. So we got a smelter. Oh, that's huge. Smelter, a charcoal kiln, kiln and uh, that's the beehive. Oh, we can make a raft? Start traveling the waters a little bit. Yeah, we can make a raft. I'm gonna go out, we're gonna hunt a little bit of, uh, obviously some more deer, boar. Uh, we're going to tra traverse the Black Forest a tiny bit more. Can you only get those little smelting cores, though, from dungeons? And do they, like, respawn in the dungeon? Like, I can go back in the dungeon and get more later on, or... They don't respawn. That's unfortunate. Yeah, Ryan, it's true, man. I never played this game. This game came out while I was a YouTuber, and we've never we've never covered it.
That guy dropped a bunch of resources. Or a trophy there. Yeah, Doctor, I'm, I've been marking the map. Like, for instance, I marked, like, here. You know, I marked my base and stuff like that. I'm marking stuff as that I see uh, fit to come back to. I don't know what this thistle is used for, but we'll grab it. Get those deer. Bro, appreciate you. So when you're in combat, does your health not go up as fast or at all?
go search that tower. I just want my health to go up a bit. A lot of more here. Like hit a weird an angle, man. Got some more arrows. Pull up on all that. Drop the boar trophy and inventory is filling up quick. Yeah, we could drop the resin. Okay, so I kind of want to circle back and search this area here.
Michael, make it. Thank you, thank you for the super chat, man. Uh, go back to the tower. Copper at the base. Oh, uh, I forgot about the pickaxe stuff, guys. Yeah. About the mining. Another tower here, too. Let me get this stuff back. I can also upgrade my club now because I have the, uh, the bone shards. Wanted to get back over there and try to do some mining, but it's all good. My inventory's maxed anyways. Again, Michael, thank you for the super chat, man. I appreciate you, brother. All oh, metals open up some great upgrades. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't even imagine the weapons we've got to get our hands on with like metal tools and stuff and metal weapons. Oh, that would be so awesome. Let's see, so work branch upgrade club. Then to get our level three bench, all I need is a little wood for that. We can get our bow up to rank two. So the only thing we haven't uh, ranked up yet is our armor and our hammer.
Uh, copper, tin, iron, and silver are very heavy. The carry moving uh, to the Black Forest next. Saves hour. Yeah, I could imagine. So we got to build a bigger base anyways, and it's not like this required much. So I, I can definitely see moving. There's no, like... Vehicles or anything, uh, vehicles like carts or. Got the raft, but. Oh, there are carts. Yeah, we just gotta, we just gotta get some more resources before I'll be able to access that kind of stuff. Yeah, I gotta build the, the, the rack for this. Um, what did that require, actually? I might have enough to build it now. I know I needed a bit more of the deer. Five, yes. Yeah. Love the scraps. Flint. I, I, I don't think I have the flint, though. Have enough flint. So we'd have to go out and get flint. I have enough deer hide and uh, leather scraps. But yeah, we gotta go out and get flint. I mean, the crazy thing is, is I've probably barely even scratched the surface of the map yet. Yeah, if we're going to build a new base, though, we're going to have to find a, a good spot. So we might, like, go on, like, a big exploration where we just, like, walk, see what there is to see, where there is to go. And then build from there. But, alright guys, we're going to end this episode here. I'm going to go eat dinner. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be firing up another stream here tonight. So, again, thank you so much, everybody, for coming and hanging out tonight. we got over 600 likes on the stream already. Uh, that map 1% completed. <laughs> Remember, guys, if you guys want some more Valheim, best way to let me know that you guys are enjoying it is by smashing that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and we'll definitely be rolling some more out, guys. Uh, but if I don't see you guys in the next stream, you have a great rest of your night. And uh, for everybody else, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.